Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Coach Adrian. I am a relationship expert coming to you live from sunny Miami, Florida. And I wanted to do a video talking about bad influences while dealing with the process of getting back with an ex. If, your ex, if you feel like your ex is being influenced by a friend or by a family member, then this video is for you. And I know that a lot of people, a lot of people throughout the world feel like there's a negative, a dark influence over, over the person that they love, over the process of getting back together, and they need help, they need support, because it can be tremendously frustrating. You need to realize that after a breakup, you're not in your ex's good graces. So if you try to come out and tell your ex straight up that this person, family member or friend is a bad influence and is the reason why you're no longer together, ultimately, your ex is not gonna react positively to that. Your ex is gonna feel like you just don't get it, you don't understand them, and you're not meant to be. And it's gonna look desperate and, and, and weak. And that's not what I want for you. So if you are aware that this is happening, don't go out and tell your ex. Act accordingly. Make sure that you don't talk to this person. Make sure that there's no third party interactions. You can't control what other people will say, but you can control what you say, and you can make sure not to go and try to engage and resolve the issues with this other person, okay? Ultimately, actions speak louder than words, and that is, the essence of this video. If you're doing the right things, if you are taking action, then the negative words will ultimately be moved. Your ex will see with their own eyes that your intentions are good, that you're moving forward, that you're focused on the right things. And ultimately, when people are negative and gossiping and spreading false information, the truth always comes out and you will be vindicated as long as you don't fall to that level and interact or engage with people that don't have your best interest at heart. Don't make it a fixation. Focus on you. Take action. That's what is most important. Reflect your true essence in your day-to-day -day actions. And don't be so focused on what people may or may not be saying about you because you're going to drive yourself crazy. Ultimately, it's a distraction. Tune out the noise. Focus on what you can control. If you've been following my YouTube channel for some time, you know that I love saying this. Focus on the things that you can control. Indeed, that's the only thing that we really can leverage on. The only things that we can do, right? And if you're able to not fall into this trap or pitfall, if you're able to not give these people more importance than they deserve, Ultimately, those same very people who are trying to influence your ex in a negative way will be the ones pushing that person back into your life. I've seen it happen time and time again, and it will happen for you too, as long as you're disciplined and you don't let your emotions get the best of you. Leave me your comments, questions, if this is something that you have to deal with, if you're dealing with a parent, a sibling, a best friend, or someone at work that is influencing this process, the process of being back with the one you love in a negative way, let me know. And it'd be my pleasure to help you through the comment section of this video, or if you want further, more detailed feedback, book a coaching session and we can work together. I wish you all the very best. Keep fighting the good fight. Don't fall to that level and see you soon.